Nini, nee, nee, nee. Okay, just a little video today of Nina, an off-the-track thoroughbred, nine-year-old. Hey, Nini. Hey. So, I just wanted to do a little video on bringing a horse in uh, that's very herd-bound, um, quite worried about being away from the herd, which Nina is. So, Nina's been with me for quite a few years. I haven't done a lot with her other than the basic worming and trimming. Um, and starting to plan on bringing her in to do some work with her so I got Nina off the track uh, she had never even actually had a start she had a jump out and she was too slow hey Nini and she has been out in the herd ever since so now planning on bringing her into work well in saying that bringing her in to start to do some foundation training and building up from there so Nina is very herd bound and gets very, very nervous. And like uh, the last time I brought her in, uh, the horses are up in the back paddock and she got herself into a lather of sweat. She was stressed. As you can see here, this is, she's only been here, just brought her up about five minutes ago. Um, she's looking out the horse. The horses are just over the top there in the other paddock. There's Junior wind sucking on the fence so she's uh knows the horses are just in the paddock behind her uh, and i'm not going to leave her in for long so i just wanted to give you a few tips on what to do if you've got a horse that's really really matey uh, gets really stressed when being brought away from the herd or paddock companion uh start really slowly and bring them in really slowly so the first thing i've done is brought her in uh, and had the horses where she is not very far away so instead of bringing her in from uh, you know out of the paddock when the horses are like two paddocks away which was what happened when she was brought in last time which was about a month ago um, I've decided to, I've changed my routine where now when I'm bringing the horses in for work I'm going to bring them all down to the front paddock and then start to individually do some work with them so the first thing you want to do is bring as when you bring them in I just um, is bring them in if possible not too far away from the herd or their companion horse or where they are uh, and just bring them in for i'm just fixing up her tie here for um we got that needy yep for a short period of time look even 10 15 minutes so i uh, and also make it pleasurable so food is always a good thing <laughs> So the first thing you want to do when you bring them in away from the herd is give them something to eat. She's got a nice biscuit of loosened hay there. She's looking at the herd. Uh, she's not stressed. She's not in a lather of sweat. So I've given, sorry, given her some loosened hay to eat. And what I'm going to do is just give her a little bit of a groom. Um, I won't even do any basic. I did a little bit of handling, walking in, asking her to move back from pressure. But basically, I'm going to brush her mane and tail, give her a nice rub down. So, you know, she's she's been handled. Um, she was handled. She was actually apparently quite in at the, the track when she was ridden. But she hasn't been ridden for years. And she did come in last time well, I'm a bit close here. she did come in last time which was a month ago and she was extremely nervous like when i was handling her she was rearing up and pulling back and all of that so i know that she's very nervous of being taken away from her mates and the herd and so i've decided to start very slow with her so 15 minutes uh, i'm going to do each day with her uh she's also a wind sucker so i have Four wind suckers, yes. So I've got Tag and Release, who's a recent addition to my family, the herd. Uh, Nina here is also a wind sucker. Junior down the back there is a wind sucker. And Snippy, who's a thoroughbred that I rescued from Shep Meats. And uh, I've had him for two years. Just, just on two years. Um, Snippy's been with me so none of these horses I've done a lot with so being in a situation now where I can start to do some work with my horses I'm basically taking the opportunity which is wonderful uh, I'm recovering from an injury so it's I can't do I, would, I don't bring them in and start riding them straight away anyway so it's all groundwork and my dogs are barking over there come on root stop barking i think i've got my airpods on noise cancellation so hopefully you can't hear too much barking 
So just wanted to give you a few tips. As I said, I'm bringing a horse in that's very matey. So keep it very short and sweet and positive. Like I'm doing here with Nina. Uh, give, have some food, some nice hay. And just, you know, keep it pleasurable. So I'm going to give her a brush. And then, hey, so we're going to have a brush, Nini. And maybe do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of basic training. Like some stop and go moving off the off the lead you know with some teaching her to move forward off light pressure and backwards i've done a little bit with that with nina not a lot and then put them back in the paddock so yep and try and keep the sessions short and consistent so every day is ideal uh, i know some people recommend twice a day no not all of us um can do twice a day obviously if you if this is your only horse um you can easily do twice a day so once a day short sessions 10 to 15 minutes twice a day is ideal actually if you have not a huge you know a huge amount of horses to work and you've got the time so anyway I wanted to uh, give you a little tip here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.